What is up? What is up? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Vlog. First off, let's just start it off on a good note. I want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. It just blew my mind. We hit 300 subscribers on the channel. That's amazing. You guys rock. Honestly, there's no way I could do it without you because you are the subscribers. This channel isn't about me. It's about you. I got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. First, it's a celebration. 300 subscribers. Boom! That's a big one. I also want to say, sorry for not dropping anything new last week. Honestly, I felt kind of bad about it. Tuesday came, Wednesday came. You know, sometimes I'll drop it on Thursday. And then even Saturday came, which is like my alternate drop day. If I drop something on Tuesday and I'm on fire that week, I'll drop something again on Saturday. That's usually how it goes. And some weeks, I've even given you four videos in a week. Boom, 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 boom. This week, I'm giving you another banger. It's time for another mail time. I'm pretty excited. This is something that I've been waiting for for quite some time. In case you guys didn't know, I'm going to Vegas in a couple of weeks. This is the whole reason I'm going to Vegas. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Las Vegas 2017. This is round three. Well, this is round two for me. Maybe, okay, so I've been to two EDCs, once in Las Vegas last year, 2016, and another time in Mexico for EDC Mexico, February, 2017. So this is gonna be my second EDC of the year and my third one ever. Pretty excited. Last year was a 20th anniversary, but for some reason, I feel like 21 is gonna be the year. It's gonna be the year. The year you have to be near okay for those of you that don't know never heard of edc before um where have you been but also i'll explain what it is it's a huge 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 music festival uh almost 200,000 people go each night the crowds can get big there's some downsides to it the shuttle lines back were ridiculous last year but Overall, it's pretty badass, and it's in Vegas, which, come on, Vegas is amazing as far as party cities go. So every year they do a new Daisy. This is 2017's Daisy. It's called the Electric Daisy Carnival. So this is a pretty badass uh, Daisy this year. It looks like a Transformer to me. It's got some mechanical looking pedals right there, but then it has leaves and feathers on the outside. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and slide this bad boy off. This is called the book. This is how Insomniac, the company that organizes the event, this is how they send out their tickets. Inside is your ticket to one of the most amazing weekends ever. It's kind of a little bit wasteful because it's all cardboard and shipping it and everything like that could be a lot more efficient. I mean, the world's still running on fossil fuels, right? But I'm not gonna get all leo on you inside we got some more artwork of the daisy and we got a personal message from pasquale rotella this year the electric daisy turns 21 and a new decade of edc begins that's right he goes on to talk about how the festival spread they got one in mexico brazil india japan the uk and they're trying to spread it out even further so wow i want to go to the one in japan Oh! 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 Oh my gosh! This is so awesome! Alright, let's just do it like we're actually reading a book. We're gonna start from left to right, left to right. EDC book. EDC book has a bunch of information on the event. It's a little bit of a back history and FYI slash frequently asked questions type of book. Regardless, if you're going to EDC and you've been there a hundred times, you should still read this book because there's always new information that they change from year to year. This book is gonna give you some of that, most of it. Okay, so this is new EDC stickers, all shapes, all sizes, all colors, all people. Nice. 
Okay, so they gave us some fake tattoos. Honestly, some of these designs are pretty nice. Every year when you get your ticket, Insomniac is kind enough to give you a $20 Uber card. That's nice. Um, but it's only for your first rides. I mean, I've been using Uber for years now, so I never take advantage of this card. But it's a $20 value, and you could definitely sell it somewhere if you want to. Or if you see somebody really, 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 really drunk, just give it to them. That's like, could save their life, right? Dusk till dawn. No truer statement. By the way, last year, Afrojack sunrise set. <sighs> Ooh, check it out. Bracelets look pretty nice. This is your ticket, by the way. This is seriously so simple in the design, but it feels better constructed. It's got a simple rope and a metallic medallion at the bottom. It says EDC 2017 on the back, and it's got a pretty cool green color on the front. I wonder if anybody else got different colors or we just all got green. Leave a comment below. Nice. This is probably my favorite piece of the whole box. And finally, a wooden bracelet. That's a nice look, guys. Right? I like it. That feels a lot better than the wood necklace they gave last year. It was horrible. And then finally, the last page of the book. Of course, every book has an ending. You are EDC. That's a nice message from Pasquale and the people at Insomniac. Okay, now it's story time. And I gotta give you guys a warning right now. If you're sensitive to violent material, tune out right now. I wanna talk about something I witnessed at the beginning of this week. So I was on my way to Native Wings on Ingram. I pull up, this guy is getting jumped. Seriously, jumped by two guys getting kicked crazy, punched, punched, and then there's two girls in an argument. I think I should show you this better than I could say it. Boom! Hammer punch! Hammer punch! Kicks! 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 You guys seeing this craziness? This is going on for a while. This is crazy. So come to find out, this girl and her boyfriend are having dinner at Native Wings with the girl's family. For some reason or another, they're eating dinner and he decides to start beating up his girlfriend. Obviously this guy is outnumbered by her family and the girl's family is not having that. Completely unacceptable, guys. I don't think that should ever happen, no matter what the circumstances. So they get kicked out and a fight ensues in the parking lot. And I don't know if you guys are seeing the ferocity of these punches. I'm gonna slow it down for you guys. Look at this. It's pretty bad stuff. I think it's bad. But knowing the circumstances and the fact that he was beating up his girlfriend, maybe some of you guys will disagree with me on this, but after beating up his girlfriend, I think he probably deserved it. The Spurs were losing that night, and I think that probably had something to do with it. The guy had had a few beers, more than a few beers. You could obviously tell. I just want to say one thing. As a man, if you ever see a woman getting beaten up, I think you should step in. As another man, you should step up to that man. I don't care who he is or what he's doing. You need to help her. Okay, guys, sorry to get serious. Story time is over. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate everybody watching. 300 subscribers. It's a celebration. I can't wait to show you guys more videos more videos and more videos hit a thumbs up if you like this one and leave a comment below give me some suggestions guys i love suggestions keep reaching for your goals practice every day to get yourself better and you'll get to where you want to be the only way is up and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe